But Pay your rent, nigger. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, bandana album cover: Freddie Gibbs and Mad Lib. Hey. This album's gonna be fire. You even said a little pinata in the background, in the in the bottom right. It's about to be heat. Oh, do you think that video? You know, a little clip he put out. You, you push me, get your hand. It'll be a video that come out tomorrow. I want it to be the album. <laughs> oh my god! I want it to be the album so bad, but it's gonna be probably a video. Oh, I'm free let's go up. Oh yeah, oh, hey, bro, I'm broke already, bro. I don't care. Oh, it's, oh, I'm waiting for that Insta pay to get li- nice and juicy. Bro, my Insta pay went to 120. I have to snatch it. Oh, bro, bro, I had to because I can't go on my savings. See here, we have the problem with the African American man. <laughs> yeah. As soon as he gets money, he spends it. The white man. When he gets his money, what are you talking, like, it's, it's like, like it is like uh, it's like the right immortal there. poet Kanye West said. Oh my God. You know, oh my black God. people get money, don't spend. It. Oh Wait, no, white people. You know, white people get money, don't spend it. In fact, they get money by business. I'd rather buy eighty gold chains and go ignorant. I know Spike Lee gonna kill me. Shut up, nigga. Words in that line. Nigga, you can't spell finish. Do you say Star Wars? Wrong. Yes, sir. So they Finnish. Them. F-I-N-N-I-S. One person from Finland. Mm-mm. Hey, that kind of makes sense, bro. Thanks, bro. All right, moving hey, on. Only, uh, a on bandana that? album cover looking pretty dope. That shit looks fire. You going to actually jam it and not uh, criticize him? When have I ever criticized Mad Lib? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about Freddy that bum. Hey, boy, listen to the, uh, boy, listen to the album. Just tune out Freddy. Fred, I mean, yeah, Freddy. if he puts out an instrumental vinyl... I have to definitely cop. Why don't you get the Why don't you get the pinata vinyl, the instrumental version only? No. They do that too. Pinata. I get that. Yeah, but I, I mean, buy, I want to buy that. In terms of instrumentals, I like his other instrumental albums better. Pinata is a good album, classic album, damn near. Yeah. If it had more no, it impact. Is. It, it is classic. The, is it? Yes. It, how? What do you mean how? All I'm saying is. Critical acclaim and acclaim from hip hop heads, true, but it didn't really sell well. It uh, a lot of people don't sell well. Does it have a lot? Good. Yeah, but are they classics? Would, what's a classic album that didn't? Classic. Classic. What's a classic would, album that I didn't sell it. at all? No album, but what about Drake's album? Didn't it sell well? Do we call that? A no, because it doesn't have the acclaim. It don't have the acclaim. No, no, no. I wouldn't say or staying power. I think it is to me, to but me, I wouldn't it say is it like is. A universally classic. I'm like, like, I think in terms of hip hop head people, they love it. Love it. Yeah. But a classic album is liked by pretty much everyone. Wait, so you say something like Nas or Matic and stuff like no, that? No, Nas or Matic was one of the first hip hop albums to ever go with platinum. That's a classic. And it's a no, classic. No, I said that. You said no. Yeah, nah, I, yeah. No, I'm saying, I thought I'm you were saying, saying Nas is a classic. Nas is a, Nas or Matic is a classic. Yes. What about Reasonable Doubt? Like, I mean, by Jay Z. It was a later. That sold you know, a lot like, of. Is it a classic? It has staying it, power. People yeah. still say it's his best album. Like me. But is it a classic? Real niggas. Yeah, I say Reason Mouse is a classic. So can Pinata become a classic in that same case? No, nah. What 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 I feel like what because what has it impacted? Yeah, I feel well, like Reasonable Doubt. I heard Reasonable Doubt wasn't that good back then. Well, no, it didn't say it wasn't good. Compared, it just wasn't, compared to everything. No, else. no, no, no. It wasn't because nobody oh people overlooked it at the time. What, 95, 96? Yeah, but it has staying after, power because even years later, niggas yeah, were like, years later, were like, this is a great a really dope ass album. intro out. It's just so much shit was Plus, out. it sold pretty well at the time. Yeah. But that's but in this day and age, albums don't really sell well like that. I mean, Nav's album did 90K first week, and that no, man's not, a screw. Look, I feel like if you're a mainstream artist, yeah, but if you're someone like Danny Brown, not, Freddie Gibbs. Hey, no, well, Danny Brown, well. Danny Brown, XXX has a bunch of like. Impact. Only way hard ain't You can point to sales. a bunch no, of no. artists. I, right. I go more by impact than sales anyway. I'm no, saying no, like I, I, Danny Brown, it's a bunch of niggas he's impacted. Like who? Lil Tracy. Uzi somewhat. A lot of those weirder like alt rock rap niggas, they got their star. I mean, I know Uzi's more Wayne, but you can hear some Danny Brown his shit. And I don't even like Danny Brown. But I think that if you said that album was a classic, I wouldn't be mad at it. Yeah. I, I, I'm not mad at nobody saying Pinata classic, but only people gonna be universally like people that's gonna like it, like the hip hop heads. I just won't say it's a classic just because like it didn't really do nothing different. It's just Mad Lil, dope as fuck, Freddie had dope ass lyricists. It's a, a great album, but any great album not a classic. Like all great albums not classics. Okay, so then my classic is just something that's impactful and it has like it changed something. Like it was like it was very like innovative in a way, it was, like something new. Like. Triple X, Danny Brown, like that shit probably not a universal classic, but it's a classic to me. That's like so it's not a classic. 
to me, in my So should we start differentiating these things by classic versus hip hop? No, classic? you can go personal classic versus hip hop classic. You everybody like take care is a personal classic, but it's not universal classic yet. Like people like that's their favorite Drake album, but nobody's gonna call it that classic yet. Mm-hmm. But like but Triple X is gonna be a classic. If Drake were to die tomorrow, would people gonna say all his Nah yeah, niggas will tomorrow. niggas will lie and say that views was a good album. I feel like they're gonna say so far gone and and so far gone classic. is a classic mixtape. Oh yeah, so far gone is a classic. That's generally you know, everyone classic. loves that album. It did pretty well for like the time. It's remembered. Niggas so go about, back. What about Meek Mill Dream Chasers too? No. His only one. Uh, Dream Chasers too. That's the one that broke the internet, right? I'm gonna tell y'all. Look, look. Put it like this: Kanye and um, I'm about, I was about to ask you who who's an artist. What's what's the late, what's the last classic that you had? Plus. What classic? What was the last classic album that had an impact? The last classic like, album was yeah. To Pimp a Butterfly. That had an impact? Yeah, yeah very good. Nigga, that, that, a lot of country shit started coming out. Like, jazz influences came back in, like, hip-hop, a lot of stuff. So it, well. It probably, like, even though it was in the underground. Even the critics the liked it. Like, yeah. Normal people liked it. And Plus, you, in terms of, like, impact, or not even impact, but you could argue that's, like, the best politically conscious yeah, rap album. You know you have a, a, a very impactful album when people were just, like, very... Like, when you got people that's like, damn, like, you ruined this person. Like, he's a totally different artist. Like, I compare it to Pimp Butterfly to 808s in a way. Just not how they sound, just what it did to certain fans of Kendrick and how it split the Kanye West fans. They were like, yo, Kanye West over, and then a lot of people saying, like, what the fuck, Kanye, uh, kick, I mean, Kendrick put out, like, what's this jazz shit? Like, a lot of people was like, what the fuck is this? Like, they didn't understand it. That's why I feel like, when you know you got an album like that, it just, just splits your fucking fan base. So is like, Mad Villainy a classic? Yeah. That's that. That's a classic. Because, like, you have MF Doom and Mad. MF, nobody raps like this nigga. Plus, the underground was a lot bigger back then, and that's like. That's that shit. Yeah, and, like, I'm just saying, Mad Lib. I mean, Mad Lib is such a classic. Not too many know it. Know that. I've never listened to it, but they know that fucking cover, bro. Like, it's been around. It's on all those lists. Who you know made the I mean? Who made the A flow? Hey, I don't know. Uzi or X? I say Uzi. Uzi. Uzi, so does Uzi, does Uzi have a classic with one of his albums? Le- well, Love Grace, he got classic. That's a SoundCloud classic. But his no, albums, no, no, no. he didn't rap like that. Uzi stopped, he said, I had to switch my flow. He did, Uzi doesn't really rap like he used to rap because so many people start doing that flow. So can you be a classic artist but not have a classic album? Yes. Yeah, Snoop, like well, Snoop Dogg got one classic album. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jada Kiss is a fucking legend, but he don't have no classic no. album. No, he didn't even got no good albums. <laughs> okay. So would we consider all of Kanye's albums? Except Drake is a classic a artist. Classic, a classic art, a classic. No, I, would, I would consider all his albums classic. Yeah, no, people don't really say like, Jesus is a classic. That's a personal classic to people. But you said like by this standard, it kind of changes the sound of things like that. Right? That is well, true. Jesus, no, not well. And it had the sound, but it that's really, why I'm asking. Mm, Jesus classic. No, no, no lock no, it no. in right here. And then, and then also with Kanye's uh, classic. Life of Pablo. He that's not a. Times nah, like that. That, that's that's different. Because I'm going by impact. Well, that wasn't. See, that wasn't really critically loved or like loved by so the that audience. Has to be, basically, it has like ten out of ten on every. No, standard. when it has. This is my standard. When it when it has standard. high things. No, not personal classic. Bro, I'm saying when it has high across the board, like an album to be classic to me, it has to either be really critically loved, audience loved, or both. What about like, sell okay about if it's like in care? one of those things? Yeah. No. Take care. Oh, take care critically. Have you seen like Nickus wasn't really in love with it like that? Do you think that's more of a grower though? What albums in this? Age no, because be I think there's songs that we could look we could look back ones. more on take care now and be like, yeah, there's like three bad songs on here. Where meanwhile back then I got caught up and I was like, damn, bro, there are no skips. But now, fucking uh, the song with Nicki comes on and I'm like, get this shit out of my face, please. Okay, so you you brought up Danny. make me proud. Is that that's, that's yeah, it, right? Yeah. We brought up Danny Brown's Triple X, and we talk about Freddie's Pinata. Does does Freddie's what the, does Freddie's Pinata get more get more like no, is it notoriety notoriety? Does it get more attention and more acclaim than Danny Brown's Triple X? In those like circles, it. yeah, I feel like. Uh, I guess. Yeah, because I feel like Freddie Gibbs probably not a bigger like people know that. I don't know. Like I can't even me- I can't measure their uh their popularity. But I feel, saying, like I feel like they're the same tier. But I feel they're like the same tier. I feel like Pinata is a more like known album. Like, but I feel like more people, like there's a lot of like uh, report not reporters, like niggas who, like bloggers and shit, that they would say XXX is like one of the best albums of like the 2010s. 
because it came out. Remember that list that we yeah, like up, it, even though we don't. Pinata like will be up there too, but I feel like it's not as like. There's niggas who say that's the best rip rap album of like the last ten years, well, which I don't agree it, with. But one, yeah, like niggas love that shit. I am not a fan, but not a fan of I don't like Danny Brown that much. Oh, I I understand that album's good, but man, it's great. not my kind of music. It's kind of like yeah, I don't really listen I'm to like y'all Danny gay Brown stuff after either. Triple X and kind of up because Danny. The Triple X, old, and Atrocity Exhibition. That's why I put Freddy's over. That's why I put Pinata over, like, uh, Triple X. Because, like, people like people that, like, probably not, it's not for them. People don't like Danny Boy sometimes. Some of the beats to be, some of the content, just some of the shit he says, some people probably wouldn't like. With Freddy, you got to, he's, his, lyrically, he's a really dope rapper. But I'm saying his content-wise is not going to throw you off. You got really great beats for Mad Lib, you know. I'll say, like, put, like, the high. So, basically, is it a safe is it a great safe album? It's not safe to me. I don't think it's a safe. Yeah, I don't album. think it's, it's them a, them beats keep it from yeah, being a safe. It's album. not a safe album. I'm just saying, uh, like. But we know Madlib is a good producer. Right on. But I'm saying, and basically, it's not something like Danny Brown where his style throws you off, kind of. Freddie, yeah, he, he has good rapping. Yeah. If you like Madlib's beats, you gonna like this album. Look, I'm that's what I'm saying by safe. Yeah, I'm trying album. to think of an artist that's a lyricist and like kind of more popular than Freddie, but kind of feel that same lane. We got Danny Brown. We have Joey. No, no, no. I'm talking about that's more popular than Freddie Gibbs. You don't like, think Joey is more popular? No, no, no. I'm trying to think of somebody that's in that lane. Freddie Gibbs is more popular, and they if they Meek Mill. If Meek Mill, okay, this gonna sound. Damn, Meek Mill, Mad Lib made out. That would that would blow up the internet. That was said that if Meek Mill, damn people say that's a classic. Like I feel like let's say you put Meek Mill on those beats or whatever, and it ended up being a great album. People say it's more classic because you got this mainstream artist. It's in a whole other world meeting this underground artist. I mean, this underground producer that's well known. Bam, clash, innovation. You know, it, it brings gonna bring sales. Is Meek Mill? People mm-hmm. gonna be like, damn, this shit's dope. So I feel like universally, like people that like a lot of group of people that's liking it, be like, damn, that's a classic. Mm-hmm. That's like Meek Mill classic type shit. Okay, what about there? I'm just throwing out I'm just trying y'all. Like Run the Jewels too. Oh, that shit's gonna be like Run the Jewels one or two. Cause see, I know him. He don't like at all. Yeah, and I know a lot. Of, I know not. I wouldn't say a lot, but I know. Well, I mean, a lot, a lot especially don't. now, because people hate Killer Mike for like the NRA stuff. No, but if we just put in music, yeah, together, but niggas don't because he comes from a southern background, and he's now he nigga. comes more from the underground background, right? And he's white, yeah. so York, yuck. So I'm saying, like you said, you have not necessarily a mainstream artist, right. but a rapper that's kind of you know going over trap beats and stuff like that, going with this producer right here, and also a rapper coming together to make something. Nah, it's because people Killer Mike still was undergroundish. Like, no, he wasn't a big. No, yeah, he's, he's like he's, he's like mainstream adjacent because he's cool. Crazy right? is like LP to me. It's, LP at that time was more popular in my opinion than, than Killer Mike. Mm-hmm. People probably knew Killer Mike, you know, being a wearing my outcast, but yeah. he wasn't that big at all. Nigga. L- <laughs> LP, I knew like I knew uh, I knew who Killer Mike was, but I jammed more LP than Killer Mike. Like you can listen to music, so I like damn. Listening to uh, rap music, and you know LP made beats and shit on there, and then Cure for Cancer came out. I remember those. T- I remember that era, and then you got Run the Jewels. I I wasn't following them like that, and then bam, Run the Jewels pop up on like fucking Hot New Hip Hop one time. I just download the mixtape. It's like oh yo, it's Killer Mike and LP. Like the shit was hard. I wasn't all over. Like I I wasn't going crazy over the shit. It was dope. Two dope rappers, a dope producer, fucking crazy beats and shit. But I don't. People go call it a classic. Some people probably won't. I wouldn't call it the classic. Mm-hmm. I just wouldn't. Right. It, it don't have that. Uh, I wouldn't call it the classic. Great albums. They have a dope ass trilogy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, you got anything else to say? Killer Mike is a cool man, but he's working with a white man, and I can't get down with that. Plus, he's fat. <laughs> I don't listen to my own music. I let my fans do that for me. 